Content creators and gamers alike have been blown away these past few days by Black Myth Wukong. And I just want to bring us full circle and just remind everyone what kind of happened in the build up to this game. So we've got a few articles here that were really tearing into Black Myth Wukong pre-release and not the least of which here IGN. This is the one that I remember the most, how Black Myth Wukong developers history of sexism is complicating its journey to the West. So it's just really interesting. They really focus on everything else besides the game. <laughs> they really try to paint a picture to make you not like the developer and somehow tertiarily not like the game. But uh, honestly, I think gamers are really tired of these social issues coming into their games. I really think uh, gamers are just fed up and it honestly shows with the player numbers for this game. So let's move on here. So inverse. Streamers refuse Black Myth Wukong dev's apparent attempt to hide its sexist past. Game science can't escape the skeletons in its closet. To be honest, I don't remember hearing about any streamers talking about Black Myth Wukong in this kind of light where they just couldn't handle the sexist past of this developer. Uh, if anything, everyone was stoked for this game. You know, watching trailers, seeing the gameplay that's teased in the trailers, the boss fights and everything, how clean the animations are. Everyone was excited about this game. Everyone is still excited about this game. It's huge. Okay, we've got the gamer here. A Black Myth Wukong developer accused of sexist, unprofessional work culture. So again, they're focusing on the dev. They're focusing on their office, their, their work culture. They're focusing on everything other than the game itself. So again, as a, as a gaming outlet, a gaming news outlet, it's just weird that they're not focusing on the game. They're focusing on the work culture. They're focusing on weird wokeisms and uh, not the game itself. Okay, this one's a little bit more tame, but still they had to bring it up, right? They had to make an article on it. PC Gamer, we asked Black Myth Wukong's developer about the controversy over its founder's past sexist remarks, but Game Science's only reply was no comment. Yeah, so again, you know, this one, like I said, is a bit more tame. You know, it doesn't sound like they're really lashing out at this developer for these alleged, you know, claims. But uh, still, they had to make an article about it. PC Gamer, right? Going along with the trend. And then we have Kotaku, of course, right? Some Black Myth Wukong content creators prohibited from mentioning feminist propaganda. They had to, they had to zero in on that, right? Again, bringing in the wokeisms into gaming, right? Feminist propaganda, that's that's what their their focus was with their article here. And so all of these articles previous have been before the release, and now we've got one after the release here, The Verge. Black Myth Wukong is too mediocre for all this drama. And so... Uh, <laughs> they're, they're upset. This is how I perceive this, right? They're upset that this game actually got released and is doing crazy good, like astronomically good. Everybody loves it, and so they're trying to tear into it in any possible way they can. Apparently, it's mediocre. Apparently, the second highest player count game on Steam of all time is mediocre. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, explain that to me. So that kind of summarizes the feel that we get from all of the traditional kind of online gaming news outlets. And now I want to show you a little post that I found on Reddit that kind of it kind of exemplifies what Black Myth Wukong has done. So, no microtransactions. Oh my goodness, yes. Every big AAA game these days seems to have some sort of microtransaction, and Black Myth Wukong has none of that. Great to see, I love to see that. No day one paid extra content. Incredible. So you're saying we get a full game right away, right at release? There's no, there's no DLC or season pass that you have to buy to unlock this extra quest line or something like that. Looking at you, Ubisoft and other devs like that. No, yeah, this is incredible that we get a full and complete game on launch. This is what we want. <laughs> Why can't we have more games like this and more devs? Uh, no modern dayisms. We all know what we're talking about there. Modern dayisms. Yes, the woke, wokey DEI woke agenda. Yes, none of it. None of that is present in this game. That's awesome. Love to see that. It's just purely a good game with a cool story and great gameplay. That's that's it. That's all it is, right? That's what it is. Designed for the base game to be replayed, not as a vehicle for DLC. That's huge too, right? It's not all about the money. It's not about the next step to milk the audience, to milk the players, right? It's all about 
we made a great game, and you can replay this game, and you can have fun in different ways, and it's just the game. Maybe we'll make DLC, who knows, but it's designed to be enjoyed over and over for what it is. And you can tell that they put love into this game. You can absolutely tell. They love the lore, the mythology, and they really put in the effort to make it good, and this game stands up on its own right without needing DLC and other things like that. It's, it's good by itself. Yeah, Monkey King lore. <laughs> Absolute W there. Big win. Huge, hugely amazing story. Just so cool. And not by, not made by EA Ubisoft, which I mentioned. Yes, big example there. And etc. right? It's not made by these other AAA studios that are known for their microtransactions, their day one paid extra content and modern dayisms. Yeah, it's just, it's incredible. Yeah, this, this team just kind of came out of nowhere. They showed off this game and everyone immediately gamers can see if a game is going to be good like you could tell from the first minute of content that you see about it you could tell if it's going to be cool and from the very beginning gamers have been excited about this game and uh, the excitement it was it, it it paid off it absolutely paid off now i just want to go through real quick uh, just a quick search if you just search black myth wukong in youtube i want to kind of go in the face of this article here, oh, it's mediocre saying that, you know, nobody would like it, basically. Uh, that is that is entirely not true. You just scroll down a little bit, there's Penguin Zero. Uh, Black Myth Wukong is actually amazing. Scroll down a little bit further, we've got uh, I'm Dantai Gaming here. Greatest intro to a game, Black Myth Wukong. You scroll down a little farther, XQC shocked by Black Myth Wukong's opening intro scene. Again, Penguin Zero here, most anticipated game of the year just came out most anticipated it's in most anticipated for a reason scroll down further black penguin zero again black myth wukong is great so far a little bit farther asmund gold here so i tried black myth wukong and on his thumbnail right there game of the year and uh for some reason i don't think that that's just playing it up you know i think i think he's actually really loving it so that's just a couple examples of the traditional media kind of showing their true colors right and hey <laughs> everybody needs to hate on black myth wukong we need to bring down this game that doesn't have any of the modern day isms in it and then you know some content creators showing just a couple thumbnails there a couple titles to prove that uh, actually people do love this game it's it's pretty popular and then let's get into the numbers the actual numbers to show just how well Black Myth Wukong is doing. So we've got a post here, just an innocent little post from the developers of Black Myth Wukong, and uh, look at this. Look at this. Black Myth Wukong, 10 million units sold across all platforms. Just, just let that sink in for a second. 10 million units. 3 million concurrent players across all platforms. This is just insane. The game has only been out five days. <laughs> It's only been out five days. Five days and 10 million units sold. And I think they said, yeah, this is as of the 23rd, so this is as of yesterday. So after four days, 10 million units sold, three million concurrent players across all platforms. That's crazy. I just wanna go through here and show kind of what people think of this game. Well-deserved right there. The game is amazing, well-deserved. Game of the year, apes together strong. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, ah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, that, the, the LGBT, the LGBT community now, oh my goodness, yeah, yeah, they're fuming. Congratulations, are you concerned that Dustborn is close behind on 160 copies? Yeah, yeah, you can see how people feel about this and about the DEI stuff, yeah. Uh, great, now release a physical copy, yeah, sure. Uh, you were destined to win, congratulations, Game Science. See, people absolutely love this game. Nobody's upset at the lack of modern day isms. No, no one, I'm seeing none of that. Uh, let's move on here to the uh, SteamDB page. So as of right now, while I'm recording right now, it's a, you know, it's a Saturday morning, right? So maybe people are still working that have weekend shifts or something, or, you know, people with families or stuff going on, you know, not everybody's playing the game right now. Still over a million players right now, right now at like 11 a.m. on a Saturday morning. This is crazy. All-time peak, 2,400,000 players, and the 24-hour peak is still in the 2 millions. This is insane. And of course, of course we will see drop-off as the, the days and weeks go on, because th that's just how it goes. People will play through the content, and, you know, you just, you, you've you played the game. You don't, you don't have more to play on it. But as of right now, still four days later, right, uh, it hasn't been a massive drop 
showing that people tried it, hated it, it's absolutely horrible or something. No. No, it's staying in the two millions of players. That's insane. Over here on Steam, we want to look at the rating. We want to see just how people rate this game. We can we can see comments all day long on Twitter, but uh, we want to see some actual numbers here, right? Overwhelmingly positive. 332,000 reviews, and 96% of them love this game. They love the game. What, there, there's not much more to say about it. We can go read some of the reviews if we want. So far, I love everything about this game. From the story, visuals, gameplay, it's a beautiful game, and Chinese mythology, and a rare gem of 2024. The world and visuals are stunning. Although exploration is linear, I want to see everything this game has to offer. Yes, I've heard that before as well. Exploration can be a bit linear. But for this very well-designed, very high-fidelity graphics game with very clean and very impactful and fun combat and animations and everything, I mean, this is a very small note at that point. Very small note, as as you can see by the general ratings. So just to kind of sum things up here, Black Myth Wukong has done the seemingly impossible. It has defeated the modern deisms. It has defeated that woke agenda. <laughs> it's just a good game that has none of that crap in it, and gamers are loving it, obviously. So it kind of just proves that we're not really looking for those modern deisms to be in a video game. We just want a really cool story, a really fun game, and we will play it. That just proves it. And I just want to close this out with one last thing. For anyone who hasn't played the game, I would recommend not watching this part because it goes through the intro kind of scene. And if you don't want to be spoiled, I just wouldn't watch this part. But so this review here, <laughs> I just love it. It's so funny. Started the game. See Monk with armor looking at the horizon. Monk jumps, rides a freaking cloud just like Goku. Stops in front of an army. Me, afraid. Monk, not afraid. <laughs> God gay dude says Monk is an idiot. Monk laughs. Monk starts to beat the crap out of the gay god. Gay god flees from the fight. Monk mountain getting destroyed. Me sad. Monk angry. <laughs> we bring them to the forest. We now bird. Bird flies. Gay god now bird too. Something happens and Monk loses his power of bird. Oh no. <laughs> Monk defeated. Many years later, we gather with other apes and listen to the history of Master Monk. We learn that the true monk is the friends we make along the way. I drop the controller. Absolute cinema. I think that pretty much sums it up, guys. Everybody loves Black Myth Wukong. This game is incredible. Defeated wokeism. And uh, I hope we see a lot more games like this. Don't be afraid, developers. Don't be afraid to drop the modern deisms because we just proved you don't need them to have an absolutely stunning and successful game. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.